Hi friends and welcome to the channel. Have you ever been working in a Word document and somewhere in the document you've got a random blank page or maybe even down at the bottom of the document blank page that you just can't seem to get rid of? In this video I'll show you a few ways to take care of this problem. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you're showing formatting. You can do that by coming up to your home tab and this button right here, show hide. I always recommend having this on because it lets you see behind the scenes what's going on with your formatting. and It'll be super helpful for getting rid of those extra pages. Now there's a few ways you could end up with a blank page. Let me scroll back down here. One is that you just have a whole bunch of carriage returns here that are going down the length of the page. So these are really easy to get rid of. Just select all of them and delete. But then the second way you can end up with a blank page is with this page break right here. And you're not going to see this if you don't have the formatting turned on. So that's why it's important to have this on. This would have been inserted by coming up to layout and then breaks and page break. So this is causing that blank page. To get rid of it, just select it, delete. And then we have a second one here as well. So you can delete that. And that takes care of our first two blank pages. Another way you could end up with the blank page, let me scroll down here, is with a section break next page. So here's one right here that's pushing us to the next page and this one does the same thing. This is also inserted the same way coming up to layout, breaks, and this one is a section break but it's breaking onto the next page. So it's essentially the same as doing a page break. To get rid of these, just select or put your mouse in front of it, hit delete, and we'll get rid of this one as well. That pushed us to the next page, get rid of that. And then another way you might end up with a blank page is after a table. This is pretty common. So we've got this table on page eight and it's pushing us onto page nine. And even with your mouse here, if you try to delete this or you select it and try to delete, you'll see that nothing happens. What's happening here is basically you just don't have enough room at the end of page eight for this to fit on here. The first thing I usually try is just to reduce the size of the font here. So you'll see that I'm using Arial 11 or up on top if you don't have that hover toolbar, Arial 11. You can try dropping that down to something smaller, say size 2, and that'll bring you up to the page 8. That carriage return is still here. You can barely see it, but it's right there. Most of the times that'll solve your problem. If that still doesn't work though, you might need to adjust the size of one of your rows of the table or get rid of it. Some suggestions here is you could select the whole table, maybe decrease the size of this font a little bit to bring that spacing up. You can also come up to paragraph and change your line spacing to something a little bit smaller. But most of the times, just decreasing the size of this carriage return at the very end will do the trick for you. So that's it, several ways to get rid of those unwanted blank pages. If you found it helpful, think about hitting that like button and also consider subscribing to get more content like this. Thanks so much for watching.